Our next comedian guest is a very, very funny man indeed. That's why he's a comedian. <laughs> Please put your hands together for Mick Meredith. <laughs> <laughs> Very much, yeah, it's good to be here. Hi, how are you going? Hello, yep, whoa, yeah. Um, it's my birthday today. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm uh, 46, and uh, I know what you're thinking. Whoa, you've really looked after yourself. Yeah. <laughs> well done, what's your secret? Uh, oil of Bourbon, uh, VB rejuvenation cream, midnight in internal kebab therapy. <laughs> no, I'm a bit of a boozer. I did give up the booze a few years ago uh, because I had to give up because last time I got drunk I streaked at a sporting event, <laughs> which was stupid because it was a darts competition. So, <laughs> yeah. And, I, and also, uh, I'm single. Uh, and I know a lot of the ladies in the room just become diabetics because of the huge chunk of man candy up here. <laughs> Yeah, and if you want to have a crack, I'm pretty much a sure thing. Um, no, I've got no idea with the ladies. Uh, I just split up with a girl, she's a twin. Has anyone ever been out with a twin? It's like every, all your mates go, oh yeah, twin, oh yeah, oh, a twin. Do you have a crack at the other twin? Oh yeah. I don't know when I did, but uh, Rupert wasn't really into it, so. <laughs> yeah, I met a girl on the net, not the internet, just got a net out the front of my house. <laughs> I live out in the western suburbs. Anyone here from the western suburbs? Yeah, can you give us a lift home? That'd be great. Uh, <laughs> rough suburb, rough suburb. Big, big sign as you come in says, "Don't stop, don't revive. You might friggin' survive." <laughs> National flower is the bindi. Kids are rough there. Walked past a pram the other day. There was a baby making a bong out of his milk bottle. <laughs> smack your kids anymore can you got to do that time out thing time out I think I'm doing a little bit wrong uh, if my kids are naughty uh, time out for them I give them 10 seconds head start and then I'm after them uh, <laughs> but I, uh, I caught the train here tonight because my career is booming um, <laughs> A lot of weirdos on the train now. I was on the train sitting on my own with a seat next to me and this weirdo comes down the stairs, one eye poking that way, one eye going the other way. Somehow he looked at me. <laughs> and he comes up to me and he wanted to sit next to me and he goes, can I sit there? And I thought I'd outweird him and I put my arm around an invisible friend. <laughs> and I went, no, you can't sit there. Bradley's sitting there. And he looked at me and he goes, you're a liar. <laughs> That's Kevin. <laughs> Thank you very much, yes. <laughs> if, if you want Mick, if you want Mick, we'll pick up that train ticket. Is that right? Yeah. You, val you validate? We'll, we'll validate. A lot of your comedy early on was uh, football parody songs. You're still doing the football parody ones or have you moved on and different songs? Different songs now. I, I like to do, uh, I'm doing a bit of Beyonce now. Beyonce. <laughs> She's fairly popular now, I think. Yeah, well, uh, that's fair enough. I, I would, I would do Beyonce if I had the chance. I've, uh, yeah, <laughs> I've changed uh, one of Beyonce's songs, uh, "All the Single Ladies" to "All the Wrangler Ladies." Ah. <laughs> hey, they're all here. Look, oh, look. Yes. <laughs> Please take Mick Meredith, ladies and gentlemen.